Welcome back to our series of short videos helping you make the most of Flowhouse. Today, we are going to be talking all about the client experience and how easy it is for your client to use Flowhouse. In our previous videos, we built this client and this proposal. I'm now going to go ahead and share this proposal with the client and we're going to take a look at what they'll be receiving. I'll simply select to share the item. Here is my share link. You have the option to set a password or not. You can copy the link if you want to embed it in an email of your own, and you can also preview the link. So let's go ahead and do that now. Here we are in the Flowhouse client portal. You'll see that they can see any orders that they have, any documents that they have, and any proposals that they have. From this screen, your client is able to select any items that they want to order at this time. They can also come back to this proposal at any time and use it to generate new orders. And we have experienced in our own firm that clients have been impulse buying products, which has been fantastic. If your client wants to take a look at the documents, they're simply going to select anything from the list of documents that you might have and they're able to view it. They are also able to leave any comments for you and they are able to approve or reject it. And under orders, they can see the details of any orders that they've placed. We're just gonna go back to the proposal and I'm gonna show you how your client would create an order. They're going to simply select add to order from any of the items that they'd like to proceed with, create order, now this is very important that we give your clients one more opportunity to review the items that they've ordered and then they will have to select the approve button in order to move it forward. And now their order has been sent in. If you have elected to take payments using Flowhouse, you will, your client will be given the option to pay the deposit in whatever amount you have set at this screen. Now that we're back in our own version of Flowhouse, we can see that green check marks have appeared beside all of the items that our clients added to an order. Because we have not set up deposits, we're going to need to go into that client order to do the final approval. You can see here how it's detailing living room one, two, three for the client's various orders. And here we can see the items that the client has opted to order. You'll see that we've given you the option to edit the item. This is super great if there are any changes to the order. For example, if we wanted to change this quantity from one to two, we can go ahead and do that here. Now you can see that that quantity for the sofa has been increased to two. We're going to go ahead and improve this on behalf of the client. Now we are given the option to create purchase orders, which we're going to be doing in the next video. But I'm so happy to report that our clients have been loving the ease of use in placing orders with Flowhouse. We do have deposits set up, which we absolutely recommend that you do. There is nothing quite like receiving an email telling you that you have money coming your way on the weekend when your firm is closed. Check back soon for even more videos about how Flowhouse can change everything about the way that your firm works.